Hi, you're listening to the My Body, My Story podcast. Honestly, I would say how resilient my body is, how far it can take me, what it can do for me. I like every aspect of my body, but I guess we all have days where we don't. This is the 45 over 45 chapter where we celebrate rule breakers and role models, the women who inspire us to live life our way and to show their sensuality, beauty, soul and true essence. Here, we talk about what it's like to be 45 plus, adjusting to the changes that come with time, and we listen to the stories of our participants. If you have an interesting story, we'd love for you to participate. You can email us at info at alexandrawalker.com. That's Alexandra spelt with a K-S. Or visit our website, alexandrawalker.com. Hi, Grace. Welcome to our studio and welcome to our project, My Body, My Story, and the 45th chapter. And while Diana is doing makeup for you, um, and you're sitting in her makeup chair getting ready for, for your photo shoot, I'll be asking you a few questions. And let's start with telling us a bit about yourself. Well, hi everyone. I'm Grace. I'm 21 years old. I live in Newcastle. I'm a hairdresser. Um, I love the beach, go to the beach a lot, and I work a lot. You work a lot? Yeah. So why you decided to become a hairdresser? Like you um, It's just always been... I guess passion of mine ever since I was young. Mm -hmm. I've always just loved making people feel good, mm -hmm. making them feel confident. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, beautiful. So you mentioned that it was your passion, but what are you most passionate about? Maybe something else uh, you have? Um, I'm passionate about a lot of things, but I think don't really know actually that one's you can tell what's what all these things are <laughs> um i love house plants actually i'm passionate about my house plants i take pride in my apartment mm -hmm. um i'm passionate about just doing things that make me feel good whether it's going for a walk or watching a movie mm -hmm. or doing some gardening <laughs> So you live in the moment. <laughs> yeah, I definitely live in the moment. Oh, that's nice. That's yeah. nice. And um, what is your biggest challenge at the moment? My biggest challenge, I guess, is trying to figure out really who I am at the moment. Mm -hmm. I guess we always think that we know what we're doing or when you hit 20, it's, wow, I feel like an adult. But I'm just trying to figure out who I am and what I want to do and what I want to be. I guess I've always thought I had it together, but all of a sudden I guess I don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm just working on myself. So do you have any plans for the next five, ten years? <laughs> as as um, all the development uh, courses are asking, what's your plan for five years or ten years? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I haven't really thought ahead too much. I'm just trying to work out the now, but if anything, I just want to be successful in the next five years, whether that's work or successful with myself. Um, yeah, just comfortable. I want to be happy and comfortable. Yeah, that's a nice one. So how would you describe your greatest accomplishment so far? Well, I definitely have two that come to mind. My first one would be um, becoming a qualified hairdresser around the age of 18. Mm. Um, that was such a big achievement for me. And as well as moving five hours from my hometown to start a new chapter, start a new life, um, working out who I really, yeah, who I really want to be there. So where do you live now? I live in Newcastle now. Imagine that you can travel in time and go into the future and meet you, 45 years old. <laughs> I know it's some, maybe it's scary, scary to imagine. <laughs> yes, it's definitely a scary But one. when you'll be 45, you'll say, oh my God, it's a, I'm just start living. <laughs> yeah. So just imagine that you meet your 
45 year old self what question would you ask her i would ask her have you done it have you done everything that you said you were going to do that you promised yourself that you were going to do mm. do you feel accomplished do you yeah i guess and I, I assume you would like to hear yes <laughs> yes i would love to hear yes and i guess just was it worth it was it worth i guess the now do i need to be stressed do i need to worry because will it matter when i'm 45 years old oh my god i'm getting teary <laughs> <laughs> oh, very emotional <laughs> then you'll get me started <laughs> and what would you say to other any other woman woman over 45 years old just what would you want to I would say, do you, be you, don't worry about anything, don't worry about anyone, do whatever you need to do to get the places you want to be. You're not old, mm. you've still got time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And let's move to question of body image. Yeah. And where do you think the idea of perfect body image comes from and what is it for you? What's your perfect body? Well, I think the image and the idea itself genuinely comes from social media, I guess. We just got to remember that pictures are a standstill mm -hmm. and we have folds and creases and we're not forever going to look like a posed model mm -hmm. and it's okay to be different shaped it's okay to be u-shaped mm -hmm. and I guess my perfect body image is me I guess it comes when I feel good and when I feel good I guess I look good yeah that's that was my next question so what <laughs> comes first what when you feel good or when you look good <laughs> well I always know when I feel good, I look good. When I'm feeling good, I can make myself, I guess I do these extra things to look better or look good. Um, but I reckon they both come hand in hand in a way that if you feel good, you look good, you look good, you feel good. But for me, feeling good would have to be number one. Yeah, yeah, interesting. Yeah. I thought that for younger girls, it's like look good makes it feel good but <laughs> yeah yeah i totally get that i yeah, guess it goes either way a bit of both so uh what does a positive body image mean to you positive body image well it means i don't know that one's a tricky one yeah um okay let's let's uh, i will ask you for example now you know that uh, it's popular to show girls all the shapes and you know even yeah. in the advertising campaigns of let's say lingerie yeah. or some fashion websites they show girls um, of all the shapes and you know body types and i know that some people are not used to it and they can have a bit of a uh, like discussion like should it be like that should yeah. we or should we see just a um, perfect body like a slim and you know no creases anything or should yeah. we uh, allow as <laughs> the public appearance and I I've seen a lot of discussion in the social media about that which for me is uh, definitely the one question that we, we should see natural yeah. bodies yeah and but this positive on the other hand i think that you still have to look up to your body for the health purpose totally and then that's the question what is this um, positive body image is it like oh i'm overweight and it's harming my health and i will still stay positive about that yeah or what is that like i think in my opinion, I think a positive body image is health, definitely. I think it comes first. I think your health should be in order and I guess whatever follows, mm. it's okay. Yeah. It's okay to be whatever you want to be. 
as long as you're healthy, I think, yeah. really. Just That's watch the main, your health. Mm. main thing, yeah. I agree, I agree with you. And um, what do you like the most in your body? In my body, honestly, I would say how resilient my body is, mm. how far it can take me, what it can do for me. Um, I think I, I like every aspect of my body. Um, but I guess we all have days where we don't. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, our I, bodies I, are just amazing. It's interesting that you said that just recently I was thinking about the same. I was thinking like when they are 45 and you already start feeling um, you know, changes and your body is not doing what it used to do, you know, yeah. not capable of things. And you just still realize that how resilient it is. So it's you really need to try hard to harm it. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. And live in your body now. That's, enjoy it now while yeah. you can. And what makes you feel the most beautiful? What makes me feel beautiful? Well, there's nothing better than getting all beautified and standing in front of a camera. But <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess when I'm wearing something nice, I'm feeling good on the inside and I'm doing something that makes me happy. Mm. I feel amazing. And that's, yeah. Oh, I like how you combine these three components. Yeah. Feeling good, looking good and doing what you like. Yeah, I like this formula. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a good mixture. <laughs> and my last question is, what does self-love mean to you? Self-love, I guess it's a big one. There's a lot of different ways you can self-love. But for me, it's taking the time to actually put myself first, put me first in my world, do the things for me that I love, take caring of myself. Um, it could be just going and having a bath or laying on the beach, but anything that takes time to, I guess, do the things that I love for me and not for anyone else. That's my self-love. Oh, wow. Well, that was a great one. Thank you, Grace. <laughs> Thank you very much for your answers. I really enjoyed it and hope you will have a great day today and great photo shoot. Thank you so much. I'm so looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> If you have an interesting story, we'd love for you to participate. You can email us at info at alexandrawalker.com. That's Alexandra spelt with a K-S. Or visit our website, alexandrawalker.com. Mm -hmm.